beyond the region. What's happening in the Arctic is not staying in the Arctic. Regionally, impacts on human health as well as on visibility, sunlight reaching the ground, and atmospheric heating from long-distance transport of smoke from Arctic wildfires. Changes in northern hemisphere circulation patterns, blocking highs, jet stream slowdown and waviness, bringing polar vortex phenomena to mid-latitudes because of faster warming in the Arctic. And globally, of course, we are seeing an acceleration of global sea level rise as glaciers and the Greenland ice sheet lose ice as a result of warming. And as already mentioned, we are seeing increased release of carbon dioxide and methane from wildfires, microbial action on organic, organic carbon previously frozen in permafrost, and thawing methane hydrates in soils and sediments. This is a picture of smoke from Siberian fires reaching all the way to the northwestern United States in April 2015. This is a depiction of two of the impacts of Arctic change on mid-latitude weather, very high confidence impact on blocking highs, and with somewhat lesser confidence, but recently increasing evidence, uh, the waviness in the jet stream bounding the polar vortex, uh, producing alternating cold weather penetrating southward and warm penetrating northward.